<clears throat> in the morning of fifth grade. So today's Monday. It's October fifth, mm, and it's Friday. We didn't have school. Well, Friday, yeah, we didn't have school because of COVID. In our early release on Thursday. If you remember on Thursday afternoon, we were taking notes on exponents when we received the news. And so we're going to continue our notes on exponents. You have an assignment to do today. If you already did your assignment, I'm going to return it to you and ask you to look over it so that you can make sure you did it correctly. Then you can turn it back in. So if you... <laughs> Your notebooks are probably at school, along with the rest of your math toolkit. We'll see if we can go about um, disinfecting them and getting them sent home to you, because having your math toolkit will make math at home much simpler. Um, but in the meantime, so we have our base, which is the big number 5. Any regular number written normally is called the base if you have an exponent. The exponent is always going to be small and it's always in the air, but it is not always a 2. When it's a 2, it's called 5 squared. And the reason it's called 5 squared is because if I take the area of a square, let's say it's 5 by 5, well then, to find the area, area equals length times width. So area equals 5 times 5. So the area would be 5 squared. Because it makes a square, it makes a 2D sheet. It only takes two of them. Whenever I go to 5 to the third power, which is kind of where we left off on Thursday, I have 5 with a 3 as the exponent. See that little 3 in the air? That does not mean 5 times 3 at all. Your brain's going to see this and want to say 5 times 3 equals 15. No, 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 no. This means 5 times itself, all about that base. So what's the base? The base is 5. How many times do I need it? 3. 1, 2, 3. So I have 3 fives, which does not equal 15. Because I'm not saying 5 plus 5 plus 5. I'm saying multiply. So I have 5 times 5. What's 5 times 5? 25, and then I have 25 times 5. Whenever I have 25s, I like to think of quarters. So if I have 5 quarters, that would equal 125 cents. So in this case, this is called cubed. When a number has a 3 as the exponent, so you might hear me call this 5 to the third power, or 5 cubed. Now the reason it's called a cube is because if I have a cube, a perfect cube, which mine won't be perfect, but you get the idea. It's five by five. So five tall, five long, but also five deep. So to find the volume of that cube, I would do length times width times height. So I would do five times five times 5, which is another way to say 5 to the third power, or 5 cubed, because it makes a cube, because a cube is three-dimensional. Okay, so whenever you hear me say 5 squared, I'm talking 2. Whenever you hear me say 5 cubed, I'm talking 5 to the third power. And any other time I say, I'm going to say 5 to the fourth power, or a 10 to the fourth power. Only the 2 and the 3 have special names. Okay? Now remember, we wrote this because it's going to try to trick your brains. 5 to the second power is not 5 times 2. No, it's wrong. That's why you put our sad face. 5 to the second power is all about that base. So I have that base how many times? 2, and then I multiply. I have to make sure I multiply. This is going to try to trick you. Math always likes to try to trick you. Don't let it trick you. Okay? So... I'm going to pull up the assignment on schoolwork real quick to see what you need to do today. If you already did it on Friday, like I said, just go over it and make sure you did it correctly. And make sure you're showing your work because I'm receiving assignments where work isn't shown. And if I receive those, they're automatic zeros. I need to see your thinking. 
because if I can't see you working out the problem, I can't know for sure it's you working out the problem. So I need to see your thinking, even if all you're doing is... Uh, if even if all you're doing is 5 times 5 equals 25 or something like that. I need to see every bit of your thinking so I can see where your mistakes are happening as well. So in schoolwork, we have an assignment called exponents. And let's say this is my iPad. So here you're just going to rewrite the expression. So if I have my base here, I'm going to zoom in. I have my base, which is, oopsie, uh, that pen drives me crazy sometimes too. Let me turn it off for a second. So for letter A, I have my base, which is 6. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my 6 so I don't accidentally get confused. And then I have to count how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 6 with a little 5. That 5 needs to be tiny. If this looks anything like 65, I'm going to mark it wrong because exponents are tiny and they're up in the air. So my base is 6, and I have 5 of them, so my exponent becomes 5. That's how we're going to do the first part. Down here, we're writing it in expanded form. Okay. Expanded form means to write it out with all those multiplication symbols. So they gave you the example of 5. So you have the base 5. And what's the exponent 6? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we were to do G, our base is what? The big number is 8. And remember when I was saying that song, it's all about that base, about that base. So we're focusing on the base, on the base. And I need 4 of them. And then I just need to fill in with my multiplication symbol on that. If I scroll down here, it says write it in standard form. This is going to be the hardest part um, because you're actually going to have to solve. So for this one, I'm probably going to cancel out some problems. I want you to skip L Um, hmm. 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 I think that's it. I want you to do the rest of them. Okay. When you finish, make sure you click Mark Done so you can turn it in. And also, guys, make sure you are zooming in on one problem at a time. Don't let all of those numbers throw your brain off. It's going to try, it's going to jumble it up if you look at too much at once. So make sure you're focusing on one problem at a time. All right, guys, good luck. If you need help, send me a message.